Hi, child of God, you are welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in your spiritual growth, ranging from powerful Word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, and many more. All the contents that we create on this channel are purely Christian content, and I encourage you, if you're a believer, subscribe to this channel. First, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So it is what you hear that builds you up. It is what you hear that transforms your life. It is what you hear and you engage that truly profits you. So I encourage you as you're about to listen to this message, open up your heart and be ready to receive from the word of the Lord. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into the message of today. God bless. Is someone ready to pray in the spirit? Go ahead and pray in the spirit for one minute. Before I speak, I release these prophetic words over your head. Ah, don't waste this dream. Don't waste this dream. It has come as a prophetic guide for us. Seasons of abundance. A season of abundance by the power of the Holy Spirit. Abundance of grace. Abundance of resources. Riches and wealth. Empowerment and supplies. For the sake of the kingdom. For the sake of God's program. For the sake of your dignity. Someone pray. Take a minute to pray. God is not a man that he should lie. God is not the son of man that he should repent. Had he said it, shall he not make it good? Go ahead and pray. kings there are kingdoms there are mountains and there are thrones but only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no way there are kings there are kingdoms Mountains and there are thrones. Only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Only a shoe of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I made a covenant with my destiny that I would never be poor that I will not serve God in poverty not when I found this it is God and men and they are all in abundance God is is nigh them that call upon him. There are 8 billion people on earth. I told you everybody cannot hate you. The formula for your wealth is already there. So the Bible says the increase of the earth is for all. And that even the king works by the same formula. If the king wants to prosper, it is still wisdom, favor, men, resources. If you go to serve Satan, it is still the same thing. Your covenant alignment and your loyalty revealing the purpose for that wealth, then you will have a negative expression of wisdom and favor bringing men, no matter how you route it. It is the same formula. So, you now understand what Men like God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, will say that God said, get down and make my people rich. 
now many people have misunderstood it but i understand it to mean get down and become an agent of imparting wisdom and favor upon my people because when they have access to my wisdom god makes you an agent of blessing men not just by making you a businessman he makes you a custodian of the wisdom of heaven a custodian of the favor of god you should never be under this grace and struggle financially because these virtues by the spirit this wisdom and favor are in abundance try to believe what i'm saying believe that i love you enough to not deceive you so as i pray now know that god took you from home and brought you here to receive a higher dimension of wisdom to receive a higher dimension of favor and you now know what to watch out for from a financial standpoint that when wisdom comes upon you when favor comes upon you what becomes your next prayer point lord give me discernment because i know men are coming let me not abort prophetic seasons and you now begin to rehearse all that i've taught you about relationships to practice the law of honor to be friendly to be cautious are we together so that when the men come they will stay and when they stay they will bring to you gold frankincense and myrrh and when they bring to you gold and frankincense and myrrh listen carefully as they bring that to you then you remember the lord thy god for it is he who has given you the power to prosper you will not brag around and make a lot of noise because before you started the journey your agreement with god is that his blessing upon you will not distract you you will still be on your knees as a billionaire you will still be on your knees as a giver to the work of god only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end look at me now you know how solomon prospered god did not give him gold he loved the lord enough and offered a thousand bond offerings god came to him in the night and said solomon what should i give you and solomon said i'm a young man grant unto me an understanding heart to know judgment and god said you are wise who taught you this you did not ask for the life of your enemies because your enemies are not the only hindrance to your your going forward it is principally wisdom and he said because you have asked this and not the life of your enemies i have given you this as soon as solomon got up the first manifestation of wisdom was judging the case of two harlots. The story spread round. Kings started coming. The Bible says they came to learn the wisdom of Solomon. Who is this man? And they came with treasures. If you knew Solomon in January 2024, by May 2024, with the spirit of wisdom, you may look at him and say, what get rich quick did you get into like this? I told you, I don't believe in get rich quick as a scam, but my God, God can give you acceleration by wisdom. How about favor? Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? And he carried Mephibosheth and said, from today you will dine with me here all the days of your life. Who likes you matters. Who likes you matters. When God wants to help you, he will make Pharaoh like you. He will make Abimelech like you. He will make Boaz like you. He will make Ahasuerus like you. Don't you see it all through scripture? There is no magic to this thing. When God wants to help you, my God, he will amplify your little efforts so that other men who already have what is yours will leave it there and run away. And you will come and find abundance even when he says by this time tomorrow it happens through men even when he gets to jehoshaphat how do people go for war carrying gold they all fell as dead men they were dead but they were still men and the gold was still on them even though they were dead men 
what gives value to everything that drives us today oil and gas real estate investments whatever you call it is men and if those men hate you and stand as a blockade you will be surprised how gifted you can be and yet you will remain limited so to someone here who has been unemployed to someone here who has been fighting to make ends meet God has announced to you I want to pray now these two graces on your life wisdom and favor and I want you to receive it and I'm praying this over our global family and as many people who believe in this mystery you will marvel and wonder I know what the wisdom of God can do I know what his favor can do to an individual to a ministry to a people can I pray for you now Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Ah. When you send a word to Jacob, it is so that it be lightened upon Israel. You showed me this dream. A shoot growing in a moment of time to become a giant tree. And I saw season of abundance. Lord, we receive as a ministry your prophetic word. As individuals, as a ministry, as all the businesses, and all the value adding services connected to this vision and now oh god i have taught your people as you've placed in my heart i pray that you will honor these prophetic declarations that this grace truly will come on them i decree and declare over everyone under the sound of my voice in this place across the overflows online in the name of jesus tonight by reason of this prophetic word receive right now the spirit of wisdom receive right now the spirit of wisdom extraordinary wisdom wisdom as strange solutions wisdom as divine direction wisdom as the capacity to speak right to say what needs to be said in the presence of your helpers. Wisdom as capacity upon your mind to think productively. Receive it in the name of Jesus. For everyone who has struggled financially as an individual, as a ministry, as a business as a believer as a family person I decree and declare wisdom bails you out of pain and shame wisdom bails you out of pain and shame wisdom bails you out of pain and shame are you ready to receive favor father this grace that you have placed upon men called favor that can draw kings that can draw nobles that can rearrange a platform to honor a man upon everyone who is here let that grace rest upon you now let favor 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 rest upon you now in the name of jesus and by this impartation all the men whether you call them business partners or destiny helpers or announcers or whatever it is in whatever capacity 
I gravitate them towards your life. I gravitate helpers towards your life. I gravitate the wealthy towards your life. Helpers of the world, may they find you. May they bless you. May they find you. May they bless you. May they find you. May they bless you. May God use them to lift you. May God use them to announce you. I say it again. May God use them to bless you. May God use them to announce you. In the name of Jesus. When the prophet told the woman who was in debt, he said, go and borrow vessels. You thought it would be about oil. No, it was not about oil. It was not the oil that gave her money. Her money came from men. He said, now that you have the oil, I have prophesied some men that will be waiting for you. Go and sell it to them. They will be willing to buy it. Let me pray for someone. Your wisdom will not be a waste. The favor on you will not be a waste. I say it again, the men that must show up to honor the presence of wisdom, to honor the presence of favor, may God send them to you. May God bring them to you. Send them to you. Bring them to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And when those men come, may God walk upon their heart to open their hands financially towards you. May God walk upon their heart to open their hands financially towards you. Hear me again. May God walk upon their heart to open their hands financially towards you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone here who is in debt, you are in financial problems in the name that is above all names by this same mystery of wisdom bringing men bringing resources come out of that financial situation come out of borrowing and begging and owing i say it again come out of begging and borrowing and owing you will owe no man nothing but love in the name of jesus final prayer for you listen to me covenant wealth kingdom wealth like I've taught you is hinged on your vowing before God that everything he brings to your life will be for your comfort his kingdom and the world around you your comfort his kingdom and the world around you your comfort his kingdom and the world around you by this agreement when you step into it God can be free to release to you now whatever comes because he knows it will not destroy you I'm praying for you grace to not be distracted by every blessing God gives receive it grace to take care of yourself your children your family when he blesses you receive that grace grace to support the work of the kingdom without coercion and manipulation receive it grace to be a blessing to everyone around you receive it in the name of jesus god will give you wealth that will last you will not go up today and down tomorrow you will not be wealthy today and be a beggar tomorrow in the name of jesus now I pray for you, any one of you who has been involved in any practice, financially speaking, that has drawn a cost to your life or to those around you, you see that now, the integrity of heart and loving Jesus, serving him and living for him even with your finance, your finance is also an act of worship. I pray for you, if there is any embargo that authorizes hell to keep recycling poverty and pain and want and lack around your life in the name of Jesus, let the blood speak. Let mercy speak. Let the blood speak. Let mercy speak. Therefore, by this impartation, go and prosper. 
prosper mysteriously prosper miraculously prosper consistently 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 in ever increasing dimensions in Jesus mighty name we pray give Jesus a big hand clap give Jesus a big big hand clap it's a new season for you it's a new season for you in the name of Jesus 